Popular comedian and TV personality Ellen DeGeneres has been making us laugh for more than a decade now, but in recent years, her popularity has been dwindling on the negative side after viewers and celebrities have pointed out her rather overbearing and rude personality on screen. For today's video, we'll be sharing with you a list of all the celebrities that hate Ellen DeGeneres, so keep on watching to know more. First up, we have Kevin T. Porter. We'll be starting off today's list with Kevin T. Porter, the one who spurred the whole nation in sharing their stories of mistreatment while working and or guesting in the Ellen DeGeneres show. 2020 was the year rumors circulating Ellen DeGeneres' rude behavior reached their peak. Kevin is an actor, comedian, producer, and casting director who was the first to publicly call out Ellen as someone who's pretty difficult to work with. Back in March 2020, Kevin wrote on Twitter how Ellen is known for being notoriously one of the meanest people alive and asked his followers to respond to the said tweet about their experience working with her. He further stated, that for every story told, he would match it with $2 to the LA Food Bank. Thousands chimed in with their experiences, which included staff and crew, as well as several well-known personalities who didn't share some of their experiences with her. Commonly in LA, people who work in the industry or TV either know or know secondhand a not very nice story about Ellen. The actor told Page Six, it was just a thought I had rolling out of bed. It seemed like a fun, creative way to raise money for charity. But way before Kevin shared his tweet, he was already furious with the popular talk show host for being friendly with former U.S. President George W. Bush, who she was seen being chummy with during a Green Bay Packers versus Dallas Cowboys game back in October 2019. The former president was known for hindering LGBTQ rights and also committing war crimes, which is why a lot of her fans and viewers were shocked and disappointed when she was seen being friendly with him. Ellen even went as far as defending her friendship with the U.S. ex-president, which further enraged the public. Next on our list is Nikki DeJager, another popular figure who shared their disappointing experience with Ellen DeGeneres at her show is none other than the popular makeup guru and YouTube personality Nikki DeJager of Nikki Tutorials. The Dutch influencer made an appearance on the comedian's show back in January 2020, and a little while later, Nikki opened up about her experience during one Dutch talk show. Contrary to Ellen's warm and inviting personality, Nikki said that the American talk show host was cold and distant, and what even shocked her more was that Ellen never even greeted her before taping her segment. Nikki also added further that she wasn't even given her own private toilet and had to share with the public one since the private toilet was reserved for the Jonas Brothers. Now we have Brad Garrett. American stand-up comedian and actor Brad Garrett also also expressed his disdain for Ellen's toxic workplace and staff mistreatment. When Ellen wrote an apology letter to her staff and crew members that were mistreated and disregarded, Ellen puts most of the blame on the show's producers, who she claims speak on her behalf. However, the actor was not having it, and after reading Ellen's letter, Garrett was quick to share his thoughts on the matter by writing on his Twitter, sorry, but it comes from the top at The Ellen Show, no more than one who were treated horribly by her common knowledge. Next is Leah Thompson. Another artist who supported Garrett's statement was none other than the American actress Leah Thompson, who is widely remembered for her role as Lorraine Baines McFly in the Back to the Future film trilogy. When people published an article of Garrett's claims about his fellow comedian's mistreatment towards her staff, Leah was seen agreeing with Garrett, where she wrote, true story, it is. Next, Wayne Dupree. Podcast host Wayne Dupree also had had something to say about Ellen's apology concerning her toxic work environment. However, Wayne wasn't buying Ellen's apology, expressing his thoughts about how she should have said her apologies earlier, and even saying how the talk show host only apologized only after they've been found out, never when they are treating people badly. Now we have Neil Breen. Many may not be familiar with who Neil Breen is, but he's a well-known Australian radio host who has his own show titled 4BC Breakfast. Like many others before him, Breen also got to experience firsthand the toxic work environment under Ellen DeGeneres' management. Back in 2013, Ellen
Ellen was making an appearance on the Australian Today Show, where Breen worked as a producer. Breen shared how he and his crew were given a list of very particular set rules they needed to abide by on how to guide the show and act around Ellen. Now let's dive into a list of Ellen's most controversial moments in recent years. Since Kevin T. Porter's Twitter thread exposed the dark side of the Ellen DeGeneres show, many viewers took a double take and recounted several problematic instances the TV personality did in recent years. First, she made a comparison of being in quarantine to being imprisoned. One of the most recent problematic acts Ellen DeGeneres did was an out-of-touch joke where she compared being quarantined at home to being jailed. During his skit, Ellen DeGeneres shared that one thing she learned while being in quarantine is how it's like being in jail while sitting comfortably in the living room of her $27 million mansion in California. She further added that another similarity between being in quarantine to being incarcerated is that you wear the same clothes for 10 days and everyone in here is gay. Considering the current state of the prisons across the U.S., Ellen was flooded with backlash at how she gave such an insensitive comment. Some prisons didn't even have basic sanitary supplies, while other states are overcrowded, which leaves prison inmates more prone to contracting the COVID-19 virus. You could say she got her karma in a twist when she tested positive for the said virus the same year in December. Fortunately, she made a full recovery and was able to go out and about a little while after. Next, she made a distasteful joke about the workplace scandal. Since we already mentioned the toxic work environment on the Ellen DeGeneres show that has surfaced in recent years, one rumor that's been going around for many years now is how fans or guests aren't allowed to make eye contact with the comedian. Singer Callum Scott also shared that the show's producer told him not to look her in the eye, and among the many rumors circulating Ellen, this one has been a constant. Of course, the TV personality denied these rumors and thought she could just brush it off and make a lighthearted joke about the whole situation when the show returned in September 2020. In the opening sequence, Ellen expressed how she was excited to see all the show's staff and crew and at the end told them not to look her in the eye. It wasn't long before the talk show host was once again flooded with hate comments and criticisms for her offhanded remarks. With all the criticisms the Finding Dory voice actress has been receiving, it was only a matter of time before she got cancelled for good. So before the majority got the better of her, she decided to announce the ending of her talk show in its 19th season. Following the announcement, she also claimed that the allegations about the toxic work environment are something she didn't really understand and described as too orchestrated, which she opened up in an interview with Today back in May 2021. It was four months straight for me, and then for me to read in the press about a toxic work environment when all I've ever heard from every guest that comes on the show is what a happy atmosphere this is and what a happy place it is. Ellen also added that she wasn't aware of what was happening behind the scenes, and since most of the employees are in different buildings, but she also expressed her disappointment at how nobody approached her on what was happening instead of escalating things. 36 former staff from the show also stepped up about the alleged unfair treatment in the workplace, especially in regards to the harassment and sexual misconduct done by the top producers, which prompted Warner Brothers to launch an internal investigation where three executives were stripped from their positions. One of the show's former DJs, Tony Okungbawa, also confirmed the negative claims being made on the TV series. Tony worked as an air talent from 2003 to 2006 and from 2007 to 2013, wherein he also told Page Six that he felt the toxicity of the environment. He did express his gratitude for serving as one of the talents of the show, but he expressed his support for his former workmates' demand for a healthier and inclusive workplace. And with that, we're wrapping up today's episode about the list of celebrities that hate Ellen DeGeneres. Do you remember a moment where a guest felt uncomfortable while making an appearance on the Ellen DeGeneres show? Let us know in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.